Hey there guys, this is Victor at Victor Banker JKU, and we're back for part four of the front two flare build that I have going on for Project Vector. Today, we're going to be getting into the finishing touch for how I'm going to cut and fit up the outer fender structure back onto the Jeep. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so you see I have the fender panel laid out in front of me. So my plan from the beginning with the two flare build is I intended on making the two flares mounted off the inner fender structure and then I was going to refit the fender panel back on afterwards which is going to require trimming because I am making the two flare higher clearance than what the factory body line is for the factory fender flare. So what this means is I have to basically cut a significant portion of the outer fender panel off to be able to make it clear over that tube structure. During the build process, when I first started off with making the three plates and welded those together, I actually remounted the fender back onto the Jeep and I transferred basically using a tape measure those measurements back onto the fender panel and I first laid down some scotch tape that way I'm not permanently marking the paint. So with that, what I did was I laid down my tape I transfer those measurements and you can see that I have three lines in certain areas. I have one line up here and a couple lines towards the front of the panel. So what I did was the furthest line from the wheel well cutout, that is where I measured those plates to be. And this was going to give me my starting point for where I'm going to need to cut the fender panel. I feel confident with the top hood line because this one was pretty static. And then up in the front, I did two lines. So I have my initial plan of where this is going to land based on how the front end finished up looking. And what I did was I just kicked that in about half an inch to three quarters of an inch just to give myself a little bit of play there similar to what I did up here. With that guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I've laid out tape and I've put in a wide portion here so that while I'm running my jigsaw over it, I don't have to worry about the platform of the jigsaw scratching the paint. I also laid down some scotch tape on the base of this as well to help prevent any damage to this plate that it doesn't drag and score the paint as I go. So I'm gonna start off with trying to use this to cut this out. I have a couple of four by fours located underneath to keep me spaced away from the table that I'm gonna start with and I'm gonna go through and cut the profile. And if this doesn't end up working, then what I'll do is I'll switch over to my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, but this is how we're gonna start off. So I'm gonna to get to work cutting this out and let's go ahead and see if we can get this to fit up on the Jeep and if there's gonna be more trimming required. Alright guys, so we got the first trim done, and you can see over on this corner here, I did rub through the tape a little bit, so this is the reason why I put the tape down, because sometimes there's areas that the jigsaw will want to vibrate, the blade will kind of get caught, and it'll sort of push the base away from the material, which can cause those scuffs. One thing to note is when you are cutting this, you are taking out a few very structural pieces that the forming makes these panels much more rigid. So you can see this guy doesn't really distort a lot because of all the different bends and forms in it, similar with this piece. And now with this guy, he's a bit wobbly and this rear panel here definitely has a lot more bowing to it that's possible. So I knew that was gonna happen, but something just to make sure you guys are aware of if you decide to go to some path like this, similar to me. So with this, let's go ahead and do a test fit on the Jeep and see how it looks. All right guys, so basically what I'm looking at right now, obviously I know that's not gonna fit completely down, flush and everything. I have more trimming that I'm going to need to do, but this at least gets me to a point where I can fit this up and get a better idea of, do I need to trim more forward, to the top anywhere, anywhere back off the rear tubes? And I have a better evaluation of how much needs to be cut off. So what I can actually see here is basically putting this kind of in alignment with where the fore aft position is gonna be it actually looks like this cut here is pretty good. I just need to relieve more so it can drop further down. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and progress down to this cut line. And what I'll do is I'll merge it in with this line 
Now, as I do move further in towards the body, the tube does come out more of an angle, so I might end up cutting more, but I'm gonna start off with just cutting this top portion out. Similarly, I can look at the back side and I can see kind of holding it in the location of where it needs to be, height-wise, and I can get an idea of, you know, I need to go at least to the second line back. I may need to go to the third line, but what I'll do is I'll go to the second line first. So let's go ahead and bring it back over to the table and keep cutting. All right guys, so I just finished up doing all the trimming. I ended up having to basically trim to the lines that I expected, plus a little bit more right at this point and down at the bottom on this side as well. But I have it all wrapped up, it's all in place now and everything looks to be pretty well fitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape so we can get a good look at it now. Alrighty guys, there we have it. So that is everything all finished up with the trimming. The edges are still a little bit rough, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back through with my angle grinder with a flapper wheel, and I'm just gonna clean up all these edges a little bit, make them a little bit smoother, get rid of any burrs and any jags and stuff, try to get it as straight as I possibly can. But I am really happy with how well that all trimmed out. Now there is one area that I still need to evaluate, and that's gonna be this front edge here. So when I bolt this all down, there's nothing that's really gonna stop this guy from wanting to vibrate here. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this whole wing coming down or if I'm just gonna cut him so he comes off straight right here. Something I gotta think about, I'm thinking that I might like the look of it coming straight through here rather than keeping the wing. It would continue the grill to the body line well. And so that's what I was originally kind of thinking. But we'll see, I'm gonna think about that for a little while. I'm not in a big rush to get that one figured out. Still gotta make up my passenger side flare. So what I did was with the cut here, I came back on the inside edge and you have the inner structure and the outer structure of the fender panel. So what I did was I just did a whole bunch of tacks and welded the two panels together. I added this reinforcement bracket which was the stock bracket that I rebent to fit and I re-welded on the two spot weld locations so that this will give structure and keep this front end from flapping and be a little bit more structural. I've also gone through and I've ground all that smooth, prepped it, and I'm going to be painting this portion. And what I'm planning on doing is following this body line forward, and basically everything down will be painted black, and that's going to kind of match the grill. I added a three-quarter inch buttonhole here, and this is where I'm going to be putting in some of those three-quarter inch LEDs like I did on the rear armor. But this one's just going to be the front turn indicator, so this one's going to be an amber light. And I ordered some that I believe are a clear lens. So I think that'll look pretty good that it will kind of match with the white that my Jeep is. So yeah, so that's gonna wrap up the fender trimming. So next what we'll get into is prep for paint. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Next time we'll come back and we'll be focused on the final preparations to the metal, going through the bodywork, then prep for paint, paint and the Raptor liner coating that I'm going to apply to the fender flares. We'll also be covering what I'm doing for the inner body as well as the fender panels. So be sure to tune in for the next video. With that guys, we are Victor Vector JKU. We're taking on this build and the trails, both direction and magnitude. Alright, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.